name's Renee and this is my cash stuffing journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking a chance and clicking on my video. I hope you decide to like, subscribe and stick around for a while. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. So it is shout out Sunday and I realised I made a mistake last week. It wasn't BCL round four, uh, round two, week four. It was week three. So today is week four. <laughs> so I apologise for that. So my numbers aren't going to match up because I'm... To be honest, I can't be bothered going through and making a new thumbnail and changing it, and yeah, I just can't be bothered, so we're just going to roll with it. Um, I've become very lazy in the last few weeks. <laughs> I apologise. So today's Shout Out Sunday, we have four beautiful budgeters, um, budgeting channels that we're talking about today. We are talking about uh, Budgeting with Jessie, uh, Syndicate Budgets, uh, Cash Stuffing Mama, and The Supernatural Life. Um, budgeting with Jesse and the Supernatural Life are new to me. I have been subscribed to Syndicat Budgets and Cash Stuffing Mama for quite some time. So, Budgeting with Jesse is, she's working towards financial freedom. She lives at home with her partner and her, th uh, was it three kids? Yep, she's got five kids. She's got one child and then she's got twins. So, yeah, three kids. Um, they enjoy gaming as a family. Now, I looked at her about section. This is where I got most of this information because um, I only had enough time to watch a few videos. So I wasn't able to get all this information. But she had a menagerie of animals. And it's two pups, a cat, a bunny, two rabbits, no, two rats, a mouse. And what in the heck is a chinchilla? What? Is that a dog? No, because she said she's got two pups. I'm gonna have to Google that. What is a chinchilla? You know, I'm gonna. You know, what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna Google it right now, live. Well, it's not really live, but chinchilla. Sorry, I got my laptop just. Oh my god! Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. You know what it looks like. It looks like a mouse crossed with an Australian possum. If you've never seen an Australian possum, they're very different to the US possum. So go and Google Australian possum. You know, I might just put up a picture. Doesn't that doesn't that look like a mouse versus a, a possum? It looks like a mouse and a possum had babies. That is so goddamn cute. Oh my god, I want one. You're allowed to have those? Like, because that looks like an exotic pet to me. Like, over here that would be considered an exotic pet. Because we're not allowed to... Because um, when you have anything outside of, like, cat, dog, rat, all that kind of stuff... You need, like, licensing, like, for snakes, for example, or lizards, turtles, I think turtles. Um, you need reptile, a reptile license um, to carry them, like, to keep them. Oh, that's so cute. Anyway, um, sidetracked. <clears throat> yep, yeah, so that's a chinchilla. It's very cute, and I want one. Um, they are considered low income. And on her channel, you will see um, unboxings, grocery hauls, and cash stuffing. And her system is she uses a combination of real and prop money. So that is budgeting with Jessie. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed the videos I saw. Um, like I said, I was only able to watch a few videos of each one. So I didn't really get to like immerse myself in the channel which I really like doing because that's when you pick up all the little all the little bits of information that like with me when I just waffle on like there's random bits of information in it so I didn't get to do that which is really sad but I'm looking forward to watching her channel going forward all of her details will be linked down below <clears throat> please head on over there say hi from me um I have let her know that she's in this week's shout out Sunday so um, hopefully we see her down in the comments. So that was budgeting with Jessie and she did not have an Etsy store that I could find. 
some people have it like linked in their description um some people have it in their about section and some people on the videos i click it's not it's not there it might be in another video so um Sometimes it can be a bit of a treasure, treasure hunt to see if they've got an Etsy or not. But for everyone that does have an Etsy, I do try and make, purchase at least one item. Uh, and the second channel is Cindy Cat Budgets. Now, I've been with her. I subscribed to her channel quite some time ago. And I really, really, really enjoy her content. Um, her videos are on budgeting, saving, challenges, and cash stuffing. And she has the most awesome music in her introduction. If you don't know what it is, go over there, listen to it, and then come back. Comment. If you know, you know. Comment down in the in the comments. Put like a little uh, music emoji. She's got the best opening music. Um, <clears throat> and I love her savings challenge Wednesdays. They're my favorite. Um, they're my favorite challenges. And I actually bought a challenge. Because I saw it on her channel, um, and I I recently just bought it when I bought all the ones from the Etsy stores. So I'll, I'll show that one to you in a minute. Um, and you know what? She's so fancy. Um, I was watching a video of hers uh, one day, and she was talking about her watch. Her watch came into screen, and you could literally see what was recording on her screen. Like, on her watch. How cool is that? Because my my camera angles can be terrible sometimes because I'm using my phone in like in like an arm bracket and at like because I'm restricted in space like I can't turn it to how I want it to so I have to get it close and then once I sit in my chair I can't see I can't see anything. <laughs> so half the time I don't even it's just luck if I'm actually recording. I just push my put my finger up on the screen. I turn my phone up really loud and I push a button on my screen and it makes this minuscule little thing when it starts recording. That's the only reason I can tell. And if I don't get it right, I've recorded whole videos and nothing. <laughs> so, so it's so fancy being on her on her watch like that. I don't need to do that. Um, but I think hers was an Apple Watch. Now, guys, don't come for me, but I am not an Apple fan. I have an Apple phone for my work and that is the most infuriating piece of technology ever had in my life i hate it i am an android girl all the way specifically samsung but um <coughs> put down in the comments what what you prefer do you prefer apple um like do you prefer like ios or android or do you prefer apple and samsung or another provider let me down in in the comments below i want to see everyone's opinion but don't be getting no beef in the comments, okay? I don't want to see a no rough and tumble fight, throw down fights in my comments. Be nice, please. Um, yeah, so that so Syndicate Budget, see, she does have a um, Etsy store. It is called Syndicate Budgets. And I got this from her channel. So I, I love, I love pampering. I used to go and get my nails done. Like I used to get gel acrylics and I used to get pedicures all the time like every two weeks but with the changing of finances and just with how expensive things was getting and with trying to save for a house i have stopped i've stopped going and i do it myself i enjoy doing my nails myself but they just don't last as long um when i do them which is a shame because it takes me a little bit like it takes me probably an hour by the time i get the the gel polish off do all the prep and then repaint them and sometimes I don't have that long to sit sit down and do my nails. <laughs> um, if I don't use gel polish, I chew the crap out of my nails. As you can see, they're really short right now. My anxiety has been really bad, so I've been biting them really bad. It's why I generally like having the acrylics on, because it stops me from biting my nails. But I thought this was a really good idea. I can save up. And like for a pedicure, I thought that was a really... Um, a really good idea so I'm really looking forward to it I might do this one because then I'll go I'll go for a pedicure uh, and Evelyn is awake all right I'll be back guys okay guys I'm back um, Evelyn actually fell asleep back on the lounge so I've got to be a bit more quiet um, and I can't really play videos anymore and record while she's out here because I keep getting like copyright um, 
not strikes because they're not it's not like I get I don't have access to my channel or anything like a true copyright strike but it's basically saying that the person who owns the sound which was like frozen and stuff are saying it's okay for me to use that sound but that could also be because I'm not monetized um, and it also means that they can put ads on my channel so like on my videos and get revenue so um, I have to kind of be a bit more careful about how I film because I do I would really like to get this channel monetized in the future and I don't know how those copyright things are gonna impact that like it might mean that I have to delete those videos um, so yeah sorry that's my notes so we've just finished our syndicate budgets and the next one is cash stuffing mama um, she I have been subscribed to her for quite some time um, she is a mama of four children and she is an RN and she was explaining her journey about how when she was 16 she left school because she didn't see the point anymore and then and she fell pregnant with her first baby and how um, she kind of from that experience she she loved the whole labor and delivery process and it kind of kick-started her career into a um, I think she said she is a labor and postnatal care nurse um, so I'm assuming that's kind of the nurse you see after you've had your baby which with my my children mine both were amazing my, my whole labor the staff for the laboring experience were amazing um, both of my both of my labors were pretty tough they both ended up in a emergency cesarean um, Evelyn's was more traumatic than Williams um, if you'd like me to tell you about my labor stories let me know in the comments um, some people it interests some people not others but so yeah the staff were were amazing the nursing staff were absolutely amazing could say something different about doctors <laughs> um, uh, particularly OBGYNs in my area but the nursing staff were beyond compare absolutely beyond compare um, so I think that's amazing and she's working towards a jet um, a debt-free journey and she has um, cash stuffings and savings challenges um, and she also has an Etsy store it's called cash stuffing mama and I bought um, this little mermaid. I love mermaids. Little Mermaid's my fa one of my favorite movies. Um, little Mermaid and Dirty Dancing are my two favorite movies, and have been since as long as I can remember. Um, I probably, to be honest, I probably watched Dirty Dancing way too early. <laughs> like I was too young, but yeah. So I loved mermaids. So I bought this little one in each star. You get to select the amount. Um, so I will actually cut this one out and laminate it. So head on over to her channel, say hi from me, let her know that I sent you, and I've also let her know that uh, she'll be on this video. Um, and number four is The Supernatural Life. So I, she's a completely new channel to me. I have heard her mentioned on other channels, but I have never watched any of her videos. So. Um, she's a married mama of three and she loves Supernatural and the Winchester Brothers. Now, don't come for me, but I've never seen that show and I'm assuming the Winchester Brothers are on that show because I know it's, I know there's two men in that show, so I'm assuming. So, don't come for me. Um, is it scary? Because I'm, I have a really big phobia of scary movies. Scary movies, scary TV shows, can't watch it don't know why but it's like a legitimate phobia like I'm terrified so if it's not scary let me know and I might watch it um, so her goals are balancing family finances paying off debt and saving for her for the future and her videos are budget with me's cash stuffing planner layouts the I am movement um, the BCL movement and savings challenges which I thought was amazing and she also has an Etsy store and it's Supernatural Life Shop. So all of the YouTube channels that I'm talking about today, all of their information will be down in the description. And from her one, I got this. I thought this was so cool. This is a Scooby Natural movie night challenge. 
how beautiful is this challenge um i know erica from black and blue gets a lot of her savings challenges from there i think um she gets like customized ones so i thought me and my husband we don't get to go to the movies hardly ever but i it's something i would like to change um so i thought like maybe we could i could save it whenever we get the money um we can go to the movies so that's really really cool i'm really happy for that and when i was watching syndicate budgets she had this one look at that kitty pile up i love kitties i have three cats of my own i have a gray a gray a gray cat and then i have two calicos so they're kind of the ones with black orange and white um yeah so i love kitties so i'm really looking forward to this one so it's 270 dollars in total and yeah so this is from ktw planning and budgeting and that's the one i saw on uh, syndicate budgets that i had to have so i'm really looking forward to that now the second part of my shout out Sunday is when I announced my new projects and guys I, I was I was bitten by the the bug last week and I got so much done like so much so I thought I'll go through the the revamps first and then we'll go through the new products so Just, I've got like a massive pile here of like revamps that I'm trying to get through. Okay, so see what I mean? Like, look at that stack. Like, and this is just the revamps. So, if you've watched my channel, you know I do my dollar a day. So, this is the dollar a day revamp. So they're all the same, my colours. And you can buy these individually. You're going to be able to buy these individually um, or as a pack. Now some of them, see how some of them look a bit different? I have gone through and fixed that. So they look all like this now. But I'd already printed and laminated these off and I wasn't going to redo that just for the sake of it. So... Yeah, so it comes with 12. Um, if you buy the physical copy, they are printed, laminated, and shipped. If you buy the digital copy, you get all 12. Um, I've now made it so you can get all 12, or you can buy them individually. So that will be updated on my Etsy in the next few days. Then, I a couple of weeks ago, I released a um, theme, a Disney-themed... Um, vacation bundle and it was all the kind of things that you need when you go on vacation well this is the non Disney one so this is just the plain standard vacation pack so it's all the same challenges it's all the same trackers it's pretty much all the same icon pictures unless it was like specific to Disney and then I changed it um, but yeah so that's that pack so same amount, I think it's 17 piece. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Now, with I have recently started my head saving for my head, and when I complete my tracker, I'm going to rub it out, take the money out, and I'm going to create an ahead binder. And I'm going to have things like um, rent, um, utilities, groceries, all the things that I want to get ahead on. And that's basically going to be an emergency cash fund so that if things go really wrong I've got cash on hand to say pay a week's rent or fill the car for a, a month or anything like that <clears throat> now I do have trackers for one week one month uh, three months six months and one year and I've redone all of those so this is the one week ahead then we've got one month ahead three months ahead, six months ahead, and one year. And I'm going to do these either individually or I'm going to have a bundle where it's going to be all five. <clears throat> so that's that one. Um, this is back to school. 
So basically what I did is I went through all of my binders and redid all of them. That's how I processed it. Like that's why they're a bit random and don't really make sense. But yeah, so this is the new back to school one. This is the new Easter one. I love this little bunny. Now, you know that I have been doing the 5 for 5. I've also done the uh, 10 for 10 and the 20 for 20. So I've revamped these. So this is the 5 for 5 version. And instead of writing it on the back, I'm just going to, I've put it so you can colour in how many times you've done it. So there's the 5 for 5, the 10 for 10, the 20 for 20, 50 for 50, and the 100 for 100. So I'll be swapping all of the trackers that you see, I will be all swapping these out in my binder. So after today, these will all be in my binder. And then I did a Mother's and Father's Day. Um, this one... Uh, is it this one? No. Must be another one that I need to update a little bit. So, Mother's and Father's Day. I just save for both of them. So, I think what I might do is I might slip these into the envelope and then just put the money either in the front or the back. I'm not sure. I might split them and stuff one week one and one week another. I'm not really sure. But, yeah. Mother's and Father's Day. So now it comes to the new stuff and I'm so excited. So as a cash stuffer, one of the things I worry about is having this kind of cash on the premises and I have been convincing myself that I need to save up for a safe. So what I've done is I have created a savings challenge to save up for a safe. Um, you can set your own goal, you can set what each icon is. But I thought that would be a fun way to kind of save up for something that I think it's getting to the point where I, I need. Um, yeah, so that's the safe. And then as a YouTuber, I get very, I got very uncomfortable. Um, and just having an Etsy store, sending out parcels with my home address as a return address. So I have created a, so many of us have P.O. boxes. Um, so I've created a P.O. box savings challenge. So you can save up and pay for a P.O. box and then pay for the renewal each year. And then with this whole thing of me getting um, a new car, I have realised that eventually if I decide to buy the car at the end of the Novated lease, if you don't know what I'm talking about, as part of an employee benefit, I get what's called a package vehicle or a Novated lease. So I get a brand new car from a specified list so I can pick whichever one I want and there was about 25 cars on it I could choose from all the way from a mini like a really small car to like a big SUV um, and some of them are hybrid some of them are petrol some of them were diesel so there was a big selection anyway I can pick one and then I pay a standard fee every two weeks so it comes straight out of my wage and in return I get a brand new car they pay the rego the insurance the roadside assistance um and the fuel and then yeah so I think that's well worth it but then when I at the end of the term you have the option to buy the car so when I get my new car I'm going to start even though the contract's for three years I'm going to start saving as if I'm going to buy it at the end. If I don't, well, I've got some extra money. If I do, it means I'm going to have a deposit. I'm going to have everything I need to register, fuel, and insure the vehicle once it comes into my, like, into my hands. So what I've done is I've created a, like, a car pack, basically. So you've got car registration. You've got new car, car insurance. And car maintenance so basically everything you need to save for to have a car so for example if you're going to have a new get a new car you're going to need to register it insure it and maintain it so that's going to be a that's a pack and I think I'm going to do it individually as well so yeah it'll be digital and physical and then with all of my health concerns lately, I have made my own health one. And this symbol here was inspired by 
uh, funding Megita Jones. She's got the tracker that I currently use and I really love it. I just wanted to stay on theme and have all of my own. Um, but definitely go and check her channel out. It's Funding Megita Jones. She has a YouTube channel and an Etsy store. And she has some beautiful trackers. And I really enjoyed the one I had. Um, but I just, I made my own one. But this is definitely um, inspired by hers. And then I've created the stockpile um, savings challenge. And this is going to be more towards um, like groceries more than anything. Um, so that's why there's like a grocery icon. And then the household is more towards things like cleaning supplies, light bulbs, um, new taps, washers, um, remotes, <laughs> um, and things like that. So that's what this household one is for. And then I've got an entertainment one. I love my Caro Cash concert and festivals one but I wanted to have one a bit more broad um because I don't I'm probably gonna only go on one concert like to be honest and the only reason I'm gonna go is because it's my husband's favorite band and I I do like do like some of their music but I'm mainly going for him so yeah so I've made an entertainment one and I will probably use this after I've finished the Caracash one because I'm so close to finishing that one okay and then this is for lawn maintenance so this is my Husqvarna envelope so this is look at this little gnome my grandma lo loved gnomes that's why I use them in one of my savings challenges and on the lawn maintenance every time I see it I'll think of her so yeah that's for the lawn maintenance and then this is a new one I've created. This is the one that I need to adjust a bit because this is, I don't like this bit. I need to fix that up. But I will do that. So this is self-care Sunday. Now I am, there's probably a lot of people out there who are really, really good at saying about, talking about self-care, but they struggle to actually do it. So what I'm going to do is every Sunday, I'm going to, my challenge personally is going to be every day I want to do one small thing for my self-care so it could be I'm currently trying to clean out the house and I get real big satisfaction when I clean out something and I and it's all clean it's all decluttered it's everything in its right space it makes me feel good so for example one day I might clean out a drawer it might take me five minutes um but that that's going to be my one thing um it could be sitting down and having a cup of coffee undisturbed which if you're a parent <laughs> And especially a working parent, um, like that's that's it, nearly impossible. So even stay-at-home parents are the same. So it could be really, really small. It could be really big. It could be painting my nails. Um, it could be taking the time to have a shower and wash my hair and listen to some music while I'm in there. It could be lighting a candle and getting the smell through the house. It could be making yourself a treat, like. It can be anything. And if I make it through the whole week, I colour in one and I might say put $5 away. And then at the end of the time, you've got some money to play with. So that's going to be, you could, you could have it so that each one of these is a day. So every time you do something per day, you colour it in. When you get to seven, then you give yourself your reward. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing for that one. So, that's self-care Sunday. And that's meant to be like a year-long challenge. That's what I'm going to use it for anyway. And then I have two items that are not budget-related. I saw these when I was shopping for binders for my business. And I fell in love with them. I think they're so cute. Um, I did only buy a few of them because I don't know if they're going to sell. And I didn't want to have like a 100 of them <laughs> in the house. So I do only have a few of them, but I'm so excited. They are mouse-themed tumblers. How stinking cute are these? Um, they are double insulated, so they won't have um, they won't have like condensation, so it's not going to get all over your desk. And it comes with a reusable 
plastic straw and I'm going to offer these customized so like putting names on them um, I am going to I'm still trying to decide if I should just try them locally or if I should put them up on my Etsy store I'm not I'm not really sure I might put maybe half on Etsy and half locally and see what happens um, I did only get six of each so it's kind of just a bit of a test run, but I'm really excited about these. And I don't really do, I did try and do customized items like this, like tumblers and drink bottles and, and keychains. And it just, it didn't, it wasn't successful for me. I just, I don't know if I'm bad at it. <laughs> like, um, or like, I just didn't have the time to put in the variety, but I'm really excited about these. I think they're so cute. I'm so tempted to take a Mickey, um, like a one with a bow. I think it's meant to be like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. I think that's what it's meant to be. But yeah, so that's where the straw goes in the back. So yeah, mouse themed tumblers. I think they're so stinking cute. Um, and these are the plastic straws. I didn't want to open it because then once it's open, it's open. So it comes with a plastic straw. And the straws have like a little like notch on them so that they can't fall out. So yeah, that's it for my shout out Sunday today. So I have a gazillion things to do on Etsy in regards to all of these trackers. <laughs> so, there's so many. I was bitten by the creative bug, I tell you. I loved every minute of it. Um, I really, really did. So I will have all of these updated. I will have be transferring these over into my binders. So you'll see these from now on. Um, and yeah that's pretty much it remember to go and say hello to was it budget with sorry i've got to get my notes again i don't know, remember the names off the top of my head so budgeting with jesse syndicate budgets cash stuffing mama and the supernatural life all of their details will be down below head on over say hi from me send, tell them i sent you and watch some videos if you can. Alright guys, remember to live, laugh, love. And when life gets hard, just roll it in glitter. Bye guys.